Welcome back to another video. I'm Chris with Server Factory, and today I'll be touching on NVIDIA's fresh out of the factory professional GPU, the RTX A4500. Back in April of this year, NVIDIA introduced a new professional GPU and its subordinate, the RTX A5000 and the RTX A4000. Both GPUs arrived with little fanfare despite their respective performance capabilities. The same can be said for NVIDIA's newly released mid-range workstation GPU, the RTX A4500, which also slipped under the radar, was unusually not featured at NVIDIA's 2021 GTC event. That's not to say the A4500 is not worth talking about, as it boasts serious performance specs. I'll let you pause the video to check the bulk of the specs, but let's take a closer look at the more notable ones. First of all, the A4500 boasts 20 gigabytes of GDDR6-ECC video memory with a 200 watt TDP, allowing for power intensive workloads with the supplement of an 8 pin connector. As is common with the all new RTX Gen graphics cards by Nvidia, the A4500 features second generation RT cores with up to two times more performance than the previous generation architecture. Being a solid workstation GPU, the card utilizes third generation tensor cores to boost AI and data science model training performance. The new generation provides support for TF32 precision and structural sparsity, adding more to graphics workflows. Interestingly, the card features NVLink support, the modern day SLI, for pairing another A4500 to increase the performance capability by increasing the memory to 40 gigabytes with low latency GPU to GPU transfer, bolstering the potential of the card. The dual slot card has four DisplayPort 1.4 slots with impressive simultaneous display limits, especially if you're inclined to use the NVLink for the purpose of increasing this limit. When it comes to the price of the A4500, there isn't a defined retail value as the card must be purchased from an OEM. Although given that the price for the A4000 is around $1,700 and the A5000 sits at around $3,000 from a retail source, we can expect it to be between $2,000 and $2,500 mark. With the current GPU economy, it's a welcome move to use OEM focused supply, which may solve the exponential supply chain issues for workstation users. Hopefully, this approach will provide a means to get GPUs at reasonable prices. Give us your opinion on this new addition to NVIDIA's RTX Ampere GPU series in the comments section. And if you missed it, check out our previous video. The link will be in the description. As always, if this video was helpful or enjoyable in any way, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to stay up to date with future uploads and enable notifications so you won't miss our next one. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.